Dr. Mary, I know this is going to be sad for you, but this will be the last time this entire year that we start the show with a joke. Darn it. With a tear in your eye, tear. would you like a joke? <laughs> Go ahead. And a smile on your face. Yes. Hey, Dr. Mary. Yes, Richie. Why do chiropractors make horrible historians? <laughs> Why? Because their calendars only go a week back. That's it. That's all I've got. make those jokes up you think there's some secret website I, you think i've hired a writer to come up with them i think there's like a secret little book that you found somewhere online and you just were like okay what one today sadly i do make most of those up should i, I should i make my own book don't Did you sell it <laughs> no and you're not That's so hurtful <laughs> i thought we were getting along looking for some sensible science how about some atypical advice or maybe just some down-to-earth diagnosis of course you are at the right place it is Dr. Mary's Chiropractical. I am your host, Richie Witt. She is Dr. Mary Collings, and she is the chiropractor that will not ruin your day and confuse your brain with medical terms and weird techniques, and I don't even know what she said. She just cracked my back. I don't know what to do. Small changes that will make a big difference in your life. That's why we call it chiropractical. Dr. Mary, don't look now, but it's episode eight. Wow. That's, a that's whole, pretty that's cool. A, that's a full season in some world. Yeah. Are you going to renew for season two? Have the, have the producers been in contact with you <laughs> about signing you up for We're in negotiations. Two? We're in negotiations. <laughs> All right. Uh, this will probably be our last show of 2017. As a matter of fact, it will be. Unless we decide to do it on New Year's Eve, which oh. I think I have plans. Sorry. Okay. No, no offense. Okay, fine. So on the show today, we're going to look back at 2017, which has been a... I'm going to try to be upbeat, but it's been kind of a rough year for a lot of people right. in a lot of ways. And we'll look forward to hopefully a bigger, brighter 2018. Uh, and also on the show today, we have a wise crack of the week. Yes. We're going to teach you how to start moving. To start moving. Get moving. We probably should start moving. Get moving. Right, let's get to moving. Uh, follow Dr. Mary and Dr. Mary's Chiropractical on her empire of social media networks. YouTube channel, Dr. Mary Collings, that's where you can find this episode eight and all episodes, including way back when, when we did the introduction to Dr. Mary's. Remember that show? Forever ago. Back when we introduced who the heck you were and why people should listen to you. Yeah. I think they took heed. Our, our viewership is growing. Uh, that's the YouTube channel, Dr. Mary Collings. Facebook, Highland Park, Spine and Sports Medicine. Twitter and Instagram, at Dr. Mary Collings. The website, drmarycollings.com. And let me give out some phone numbers in case you need to make a holiday appointment for uh, a crick in your neck. You get the people that walk come in with a crick in the neck? Absolutely. You can fix the crick in the neck? And hitch in and get along. And you're hitching <laughs> and you're getting... Golly, we talked at last episode about pillows. Wrong pillow, crick neck. So it happens. I speak like a, like a man with experience. Uh, the Lost Cleanest Office, 972-256-7114. The Hallow Park Office, 214-252. And then every zero until the phone starts ringing. Four of them probably, zero, zero, zero. It zero. works. The email, Dr. Mary, Dr. Mary at drmarycollins.com. All right, 2017. Uh, we'll get to what a rough year it's been in a minute, but let's talk about you personally okay. um, because you've always taken a lot of trips. Uh, any trips stand out for you in this past year? I know you hmm. went to Vegas recently. You went to yeah, Nashville was, recently. Went to Nashville. Um, did earlier in the year did a little another little Vegas trip for Kelly Raspberry's fiftieth, which was fun. It was a good girls' trip. Okay. I went to see you know all of the uh, boy band fun things, um, but then what, also what my boy band. Um, the um, in sync. No, no, no. The other one. New kids on the block. The other one. Um, Menudo. No. <laughs> No, um, Partridge Family. No, what are they called? I forgot. Um, you know who they are. Uh, Backstreet Boys. Didn't I say that? No, you said In Sync. Oh, They're not the one in the same. You're right. You're right. Um, but that was fun. It was really it good. Really, well, it really was fun. Absolutely. Did you we dance had dance in your chair. Of course. It's crazy. They're so good. But they're. Right. I think so they're better good. than they used to be. <laughs> um, then my other favorite trip was we went to Mayakoba. 
um, the Rose, Rosewood Mayacoba, kind of down by Cancun, between Cancun and Tulum. Rosewood Mayacoba. The best resort ever. That's the name of the resort? Yes. So what's the destination? Mayacoba. That's the name of it? Yeah. Is it Mayacoba is an island? Mayacoba is an area. Okay. You're going to make me get this out of so here. So Cancun. I, Cancun. Tulum. Yes. Middle. Middle. Okay. So where'd you go on your trip? I went to Cancun, just off the coast of Cancun, went to Mayacoba. Yeah, people would know that. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm just checking. To me, Mayacoba might be down by the Southern Antilles. It <laughs> might be. Now it might we know. be. Now we know. Yes, you do. So you recommend that. Oh, beautiful resort. But we found out in Episode 7 that the Cayman Islands is your favorite place to That's go. That's a great place to go as well, but I did not go there this last year. No. I didn't I went say to you Mayacoba. did. I just said, okay. we're getting testy at the end of this stuff here. <laughs> So your, but your one vacation spot, if you could go in 2018, would be? Well, the Caymans would be lovely. Cayman. All right. Um, well, anywhere. I love to travel. In, what do you mean anywhere? Okay, let's go to Mesquite. I go to Mesquite. <laughs> it's down by Mayacoba. I'll see you there. All right. Uh, and, of course, your practice is booming. You're opening up a third office. We're working on it. In the Star up by Jerry Jonesville uh, in Frisco in 2018. Yes. Um, I'm assuming... <laughs> that you're a very decorated chiropractor in your industry. Any awards, recognitions in 2017 that we should know about? No. Or do you want to be very humble and keep them to yourself? I like to keep them to myself. You know what? I'm going to look them up. <laughs> this in is 2018, a... episode 9, but episode I mean, 1 of 2018, I will research your, and I'm going to bring out a giant scroll of your awards. We're going to read them one by one. Fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Um, how about any stories from 2017? I know you can't. We don't want names and details, but uh, you see a lot of people during the week. Yes. Is there any one story or one uh, patient that stood out above any others? Well, not so much in this last year that was specific, but there's one patient that, that's always in my heart and in my head that, like, when I first had started practice, and um, she was out jogging and got uh, somebody that was very angry that day ran over her. Wait, whoa, whoa, on purpose? Purpose. And so, oh and so they, she came to me through a referral and, um, they said she'd probably never walk again. She was in a wheelchair. And so I, the four seasons had donated their pool and their, one of their trainer services, um, Randy Wolf, he donated his time. My massage therapy at the time, therapist at the time, Chad, he donated his time. And so we just worked on her until, but now she's absolutely doing wonderful thriving. But those are the stories I love. It's when, you know, somebody's told wow. that they're not going to be able to function again. She's got wonderful children, wonderful life, but that's the stuff that makes it why I like to go to work every day. So what did they tell her that she wouldn't walk again? Yeah, that's just. Well, I mean, what was her injuries when I, the well, guy hit her? Hit, hit, he hit her, threw her into the yard. So it's like, she had. I think there was a broken pelvis. Um, I think a broken leg. Lots of broken parts. But wow. like they had just plus her soul was just broken. Oh, I mean, that's no hard. Somebody hit her on purpose just because they were having a bad day. He said he was angry at women that day. Really. That's yeah. not a feel good. Oh, she was she the was jogging. The recovery is a feel good. She was jogging with earphones in though, and so she couldn't hear it. Which mm -hmm. I, that's why I'm also kind of not a big fan of jogging with a headset on. You know, I, I'm I go back and forth on that because um, I ran the White Rock Marathon at once upon a time, but before there were back when they were like um, Walkmans. Yeah. And they were giant, <laughs> like to put on your utility belt. Kind of like last week with your with your camcorder, right? <laughs> Look, I'm a little old, okay, as we're trying to say. All right. But then that, those are so bulky that I didn't even think about running with them. I mean, right. walking maybe, but right. they were—I mean—they were like a cassette recorder right. on your. And if you're running 26 miles, you don't want That's any extra. Right. But now, obviously, it's much more efficient, and I do love to run with it. But when I go down to White Rock Lake, where we moved to, people ride their bikes—I mean, fast around that lake. Oh yeah. And they'll say on your left, which is courteous to say, don't go but to your left. But if you're listening to Pearl Jam, you don't hear on your left. You hear even flow, and you might look to the left, and I go, I mean, right. there's injuries out there every week. Absolutely. So what do we do about that? Because it Don't run with a headset. But it's much more enjoyable, motivational, and it, your performance, I don't have the science to back this up, but <laughs> I run better and have more fun running or doing anything when I have my own music. Well, maybe keep the volume down. That's, that's what I was going to say. There's a level where you can enjoy your music, and but still... also hear, hey, <laughs> in your ear. Right. What is that level? Uh, I'm going to legislate that level. I'll say uh, level three, seven. Three, four. Mm, uh, three, four. <laughs> three, four is seven. So whatever you want to okay. do. Three, four, or seven is our level. Dr. Mary's chiropractical. See, small, 
changes to make a big difference. Yes. Crank down your headphones where you don't get run over by a car. Right. That's all we're saying. That's okay. a really cool story. So you just donated all your time on the same Absolutely, program. and it was completely worth it. Yeah. Didn't yeah. you still in touch with her today? Yeah. Still her see whole her, family. Uh, on occasion. Or? On occasion, and, yeah. and all of her siblings and kids. And oh, very cool. Parents. Does everybody. she jog again? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, she's out. active, though. Absolutely. She is. Yep. She's active or active? Active. I was going to say very active. <laughs> active could be a word. Like very that. active. 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 For 2018, now we've got <laughs> We're gonna start a, a word. rule about headphones, and we got a new verb. Vactive. I love it. Very active. <laughs> Uh, the chiropractic world, how was 2017? Were there new techniques? Were there new machines? Um, we, we did. We adapted. We got a new machine into the office called the EPAT. And so the it e-pad? is E-PAT. E-P-A-T. E-P-A-T. Got it. And it's designed for chronic issues. So like um, tennis elbow. Yes. Plantar fasciitis. Yeah, had a both. Jumper's knee. Anything like that. Yeah. Um, so it's is great. It just it's just for me? Um, it's just for you, so yes. It's called the E-Ritchie. <laughs> so it's designed, it's more of a shockwave system versus like an interferential system, which is what is commonly used in the office. Okay. But um, we've had great success with it. It's, um, you know, maybe four to five visits takes, but um, you know, we've got one MLB pitcher in that had a little knee problem, got that rectified and all really? taken care of. Um, so a lot of tennis elbows. Like just because Dallas is such a big tennis city. I've had the tennis elbow. I know. And so now, now I can fix it much okay, easier so, for you. Okay, so, again, we're chiropractical, and we don't want to get bogged down with, right. with the medical stuff and the crazy terms. But if I, let's say I went in for tennis elbow. Yes. Which got worse when I played golf. I, had, I think I had golfer's elbow and tennis elbow in the same elbow. <laughs> I, was tro- I had sports elbow. But what are you gonna? Are you gonna hook wires up to me? Is it gonna be? Because sometimes you do that pulse thing. Right. And the, what is this gonna be? For What's this, it's more. It's it's an, like I have. It's a handheld device, so I have to apply it. So I find the problem. We go in there, and it's like a shockwave system. So, not the most comfortable. It's not miserable. It's not comfortable. Right. But it sends like a little shockwave in to kind of cause an acute reaction, so that way the body sends in the prostaglandins to help heal it. So it shock me. I'm gonna shock you. That, that's chiropractical. Yeah. Is it a yeah. big like? Coffee cup, or is it a no, iron? It's, or is it's it like a, a little, like, like a, well, no, it's a little bit, it's like a... Sharpie. Um, no, it's bigger than a Sharpie. <laughs> it's like a banana. Like, um, the size of a hammer. Hammer. There you like, see, that's that, that, practical. There you go. Go see Dr. Mary. <laughs> I'm not going to put, I'm not going <laughs> to use a hammer. Elbow, and she's going to shock you with a hammer. That seems no. like it's breaking it down to its little... No. All right, maybe not. But, but that's the size, and that's yes. what it'll do to you. Yes. And that, and that's a four to five visit and done? Yeah. Works really well. I'm going to keep that in mind. Yes. That's probably me. All right, let's talk about uh, our one of our favorite parts of the show. What? My One of my favorite parts <laughs> is when our mascot gets to make an oh, appearance. Oh, is George going to make an George appearance today? What does, what, let's what? see what George is up to. Oh. What? Okay, what is he? <laughs> this is George, your cat. What kind of cat is he again? Orange. Orange, right. He's definitely an orange cat. He has two ears, okay. two eyes. And I think he was that, waiting for dinner. Like, doesn't he look he's like he's just like. right into my soul. Yeah, right he's like, what is he? I want some food. What do you feed George? Like catnip or what? No, George gets a lovely mix of just um, like a lot of protein. A lot of protein. And I mix it with a little of a wet food, so he's happy. Does he get human That's why food? he's fat. Does he, get human he does food? not eat human food. I tried to eat broccoli once, but it didn't work so well. <laughs> what is start him out with a best I know. broccoli? <laughs> why don't you give him a double cheeseburger? Because you know he like doesn't that? like it. It's why are weird. dogs so different than cats with their food? Because dogs are sad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's accurate at all. I don't I just think know. Hungry, I think. Oh, I don't know. All right, so there's some 2017 in the chiropractic world. Um, how's your 2017 been? Good. On a personal level. Good. Then you know what? You're winning because 2017 for a lot of people, for a lot of reasons, has not been good. Right. Um, the year in review here on Dr. Mary's Chiropractical, I mean, hurricanes in Houston and oh, Florida, yeah. and Harvey just was. The flooding was just, uh, uh, if that was the worst thing that happened all year, it would have been a horrible year, but there's been... More stuff. Uh, I mean, Puerto Rico hurricane, I almost forgot about that one. They're Came still right without after power. It. Right. We're in December. That was in September. Oh, well, like, thanks. Dallas has sent a lot of, like, J.J. Perea, you know, and, yes, and, and Mr. Cuban has sent a ton of stuff yes. down there, and I think a lot of generators, and the ticket's been pushing, trying to get all, you know, yeah. ready to donate generators for down there. I think they're getting back on the grid a little bit but more. But I think we, I know I'm guilty of this. We just were so inundated with our lives, which is social media, and we got errands to run, and pillows to sleep on, and mattresses, and we get so tied up and stuff. So recently, 
uh, we moved to our new house and we, the electricity went out all, all around the block. And our neighbors like, oh, it happens all the time. I'm like, oh. Our electricity went out for 16 minutes and we were freaked out. Yeah. Like, what do we do? How like, sad is I can't that? Check stuff. I can't. I mean, we were I, like, we don't know. I mean, everything yeah. just shut down. Sometimes it's nice. 16 minutes. Yeah. And I timed it. And I was so like, imagine we are ridiculous. Six months. Thank you. So imagine September, October, November, December, and you still don't have power. Yeah. You're just happy to have running water. We forget those people in Puerto Rico. And that's. We are we very blessed. Do that. We are so blessed. Uh, and then there was the big earthquake in Mexico. The, right. Oh, and the school. And then what we're dealing with now, wildfires in California. Right. And right in the middle of it all. Like, like it, very populated areas. Yeah, That's not in, scary. you know, out in the desert. Well, like I would say, Santa give, Barbara. Yeah. And we, I mean, Oxnard, where the cowboys. Right. I said, give me a tornado any day. You can outrun it. You know, you can hide from a tornado. It's in and out in about 15 minutes. No problem. You know but it you can't run. sounds preposterous. But when you think about this. It's, yeah. It's, it's better it's, than fire. Fire's scary. I mean. <laughs> I don't like it. I that down. In your book of Mary, fire is scary. It is scary. Oh, well, there's no doubt. It, Tornadoes obviously do um, absolutely damage. Destructive, but for the most part, they just go through about 30 miles an hour. They're on the ground for more than one or two minutes. Right. Devastation when they're on there, but it's pretty quick. Some of the, I mean, the wildfires just burn forever. They keep going. Tell me this, as a chiropractor, why can I blow out a candle? On top of a birthday cake, but wind is what fuels a wildfire. Ooh, good question. I need your mm. I, I need your professional <laughs> answer. This is somebody this told is me practical it, things. This is very practical. Not science why can't all of us get together and blow out the wildfire? I know. I think I, you think there would be something by now I think that it's was carbon monoxide versus oxygen versus something. Uh, let me work on that. I'll get back to you next 2017 year. Twenty seventeen is, is made us ponder horrible yeah. things. Uh, we've also had, I mean, these are just the headlines. I'm not even trying to find the bad stuff, but the mass shootings yeah. in Las Vegas at the Jason Aldean uh, concert. Ariana Grande over in, I think it was Manchester, England at her concert. And then the church shooting here in, in Texas. Texas. Uh, I mean, those are the things that, I don't want to say brought us together, but, but it, it, it captivated us. Yeah. And it made us rethink what we're doing and who we're doing it with in 2017. It's been yeah. It's been a rough year for a lot of people. Um, we had the total solar eclipse. Yes. Which was. I didn't go out and see it. I, I like, am a, I'm a, I'm not, an, I wouldn't even upgrade myself to say I'm an astronomy geek, but I, I like space. I don't want to go there, but I'm fascinated with. <laughs> What's how, out there? You know, there's more stars in the sky than there are grains of sand on every beach on right. earth. That just boggles my little brain. In the solar eclipse, I was like, "This we're never gonna see this again. It's gonna be amazing." And it was back in August, and I was like, "Wait, that was it? That was it? It was a total <laughs> flop." Well, it wasn't a flop, it, but flop. it was. It was. No, it was too flop. hyped. It was way too hyped. Way too hyped. Like there was one when we were little. I remember one growing up. Me too. Yeah, and that one I think because there was no warning. You knew, you knew it was gonna come, I but it wasn't it was like, like. Was it dark in yeah. the middle of the day? But, but now it we're wasn't like, like that. Yeah. Right. prep to do it and now with with media this one it's was, just too easy. I just went outside it was like a cl big cloud went over and, and I mean yeah. it, it just didn't get dark so <laughs> anyway even that was a flop um Beyonce got pregnant again yay okay that was the biggest one of the biggest tweets of the year was <laughs> really <laughs> that, yeah, so that's I sad face that but <laughs> let's say that that was so tweeted versus like a devastation and how can we help? I mean, okay. I think Texas came together a lot for, for the Houston oh, yeah. people. JJ I, Watt. I mean, that Source was amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's sad when it is. something that's like, yeah. So shallow and other people's. Yeah. I don't know. I'm totally with you. Uh, what about this? Time Magazine, their person of the year is quote unquote the silence breakers. And you're like, what? What? It is sounds that? really silly. Or, the silence breakers are all the women who came forward oh, against sexual harassment. Wow. Okay. Because yeah. women had to come out and speak on the record against Harvey Weinstein. And that started this avalanche right. of Me Too and it's hopefully going to make the world a better place. So they gave just the first few women oh, who had nice. the courage. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like and I that. think yeah. silence breakers, is kind of, they could have yeah. asked me for a better, I mean, there's got to be yeah, a better. Yeah, a little bit of term. Better term than yeah. that. But, uh, it's, but no, it's and it's, cool. um, it's amazing to see the response to it. Yeah. And then we've kind of touched on this, and we're not, again, we're not a political show by any means, but I just feel, I'm sure you feel it, 
we're more politically divided than any time in my life, mm-hmm. by, by far. I agree. Uh, do people come in uh, and just say, man, I'm just stressed out from this world? Absolutely. They do? Yeah. And, they, they, and it's hard to, what to, you know, you just want to treat them and say, well, you know, let's at least make you feel better so that sure. way you can endure. But sometimes I just recommend to turn off the TV. You know what? That's that's what do that little, was my remedy. Yeah. I had to get away from it for a while because do I do a little media detox. You're going back and forth with people, and you're never going to convince them. That's what they believe. No. They don't right. beliefs are so different than facts. They believe it. You can't change that. You can change facts. But that's but, what. And you do need to just get away. You need to go to the Caymans and get away uh, from it. For there a while. you go. Well, it makes you realize too. We well, live in a wonderful society where you know my grandmother always said it's a privilege to pay taxes, and I kind of understand what she means. Sure. We're protected in our our, our wonderful country. Yeah, absolutely. And, Sometimes you just got to look around. So then there was some, this again kind of goes to what a weird world we live in. But 2017, uh, on Twitter, the most retweeted tweet of 2017. Now, you would like it to be <laughs> something uplifting. Like, right. Like you said, like J.J. Watt and the hurricane relief yeah. or not Beyonce is pregnant, but something <laughs> that mattered, something that was good. What was it? Tell me where this oh, falls no. on, the, on the mary o of... Uh, okay. Carter Wilkerson. Do you know that name? I do not. Let me refresh your memory. He decided that he was going to <laughs> reach out to Wendy's because he wanted free chicken nuggets for the rest of his life. So he went on Twitter and said, hey, Wendy's, how many retweets do I need for you to give me free Wendy's chicken <laughs> nuggets for the rest of my life? And there, they came back and said, how about 18 million? Uh-uh. Carter Wilkerson then went on and said, people of America, I'm hungry, help me out. <laughs> he didn't get to 18 million, but he got to 3.6 million retweets. And they gave him chicken nuggets for the rest of his life. Well, then he should share that with people that are hungry. Thank you. That would like, make it a feel-good yeah, story yeah, absolutely. if he said, I now realize the power That just looks like a selfish guy. Me- yeah, it's like it's just a guy who's hungry. So think what you could do he with that. He should feed the homeless every week with I hot agree. nuggets. Yep. That would be better. Absolutely. Come on, that's Carter, sad. But that's our that's our that's most really sad. It is sad, and that's where we are in this world, though. All right, and then uh, locally, because yes. well, I'm a sports dork. You're a sports dork. Uh, I didn't know if you noticed, but it hadn't been a good year, 2017. It's just, I know it, it. It's that's called a half a season. It's not a full season. No, no. It, here's what it is. <laughs> what. <laughs> So the Stars play in 2016-17. Yeah. Mavericks 2016-17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cowboys 2017. Rangers 2017. How many playoff games did you watch with those four teams in 2017? Not very many. Hold up one finger. Now don't hold up any more fingers. <laughs> that's it. I know. One playoff game. Between the four teams in 2017. I know. And if you remember that, it was the Cowboys playoff game that hosted the Packers, and they lost at the last second on a 56-yard field goal. I do remember that. So the one playoff game we got in 2017 was a kick to the uh, gut. Eh. We need a better 2018. We do we? need a better 2018. Because, yeah, that's been rough. Uh, some of the things that arrived in 2017. <laughs> Drones. Now they're a thing. Like everybody can have one. Everybody can have one. I got my godson one for his birthday, I think, last year. You bought somebody one? Yeah. They've been around, but now you see news media and football. There's no more blimp. Now it's just here's our drone flying right through the huddle. I mean, drones are a thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what you call them, but smart homes. Oh, I've got a smart home now. I have Alexa. You have have Alexa? I have Alexa, and I just taught her last night how to do Sonos. You taught? I I enabled her. I'll be Alexa. You you tell me what to do. Alexa. Yep. Turn on Amos Lee in the living room. Eh. Oh no, she says. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, she, let me do that for you. But I want her to tired. say. I want her to say yes, Princess Mary. But yeah. she doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, but now because with Sonos, I can change. I can have different music in every different room, I'll, and she I knows. Sonos, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I like Alexa, and then I got my first smart plug in. So I'm like Alexa, turn on the Christmas lights, and they all come on. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So smart homes are now a thing. That, I like it. These are good things. Good, good arrivals. Thing. Uh, yes. Fidget spinners were a big thing in 2017. I didn't now, get it. I so didn't get that. Okay, and I'm a fidget guy. You probably well, noticed. You, I, I'm always got a pin. I'm very why don't you just very tactile. Give, right? give them a pin to fidget instead of a thing. But Sybil said you must love the fidget spinners. I'm like I've never even picked one up. I never. 
I don't uh, know. I've just never tried it. But they, did people come in your office with them in the waiting room? The kids did. The kids did, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, the Apple Watch was a big deal. Yes, I got one. Yeah. You're, I don't you're have right on the money I of all these. Do not know how to use it. You but don't? No. Ask Alexa. Um, Set up I my should. Apple Watch. <laughs> yes, it should. Hey, Apple I need Watch. to go to Set Apple and have a. I need a lesson. Yeah, you do need a lesson. Or get, find a thirteen-year-old to teach me. Uh, the the TV shows of twenty seventeen on Netflix binge watching was Thirteen Reasons Why. Did you get into that show? Did not watch that one. Did not either. Uh, Stranger Str- Things. Loved. You like that? Love, loved. Stranger Things. Yeah. You loved. I just finished the second one. I liked it, but. You know, I pick stuff apart, as you, you kind of know. Yes. At one point in season one, I was into it, but uh, Winona Ryder was in an old house, and there was, <laughs> like, the wood paneling, and some sort of something came through that wood paneling, and Winona Ryder and the some sort of something got into a fist fight, and Winona Ryder won. And I turned off that show, and I'll never go back. It's r- ridiculous. Well, it's sci-fi. I know, but it was believable sci-fi until then. Like it was an upside-down world, and I was like, "This is cool." And it's really, and I'm like, "You couldn't, you couldn't think of something better than a plot twist than a fist okay, fight." Okay, they also said that Three Musketeers was the best candy. Like, you know, it's not real, but so That's a fair point. I'm gonna allow that. <laughs> um, uh, music in 2017, and this is just not by music sales, but just by kind of what I. Uh, surveyed Ed Sheeran seemed like a big deal in 2017. Redheaded guy. Redheaded. Guy. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't, don't think that's his nickname. I, but not not, a big, I, I, I think I, I don't know his style. Ed Sheeran guy. No, I He's listen a to serious like, guitar sympathy guy. Taylor soft, Swift's friend. Taylor Swift's friend. That's yeah. the only thing. About I know Imagine about. Dragons. You know, like Love. Yeah. Yeah, they were they big were good. In 2017. Yes. Um, biggest movies of 2017. Wonder. And tell me what all these have in common. This. And okay. This is a. This is also. A comment on where we are. Biggest movies. Wonder Woman, Beauty and the Beast, Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, It, Thor, Logan, Justice League. I would say superheroes? Yes. So what is that? That oh, means oh, we're do going... Do you want to escape or just get away? No, we're or, going or, back to our childhood when they were just cartoony characters. I mean, there's so, it's something... Okay, there's but some sort of commentary the one on where that, we're headed. The one that I really didn't like was It. Like, so I hate... Like, as a kid, that like thing... That? Bring me, really? I still, when we would run in early in the mornings, like, I'd run with Dr. Richard Johnson, and he would be like, why do you always run in the middle? I'm like, because the scary clowns live down in those things. And he was like, what? I saw that movie, and it didn't like, scare... I, I didn't hate it, but it didn't scare me one bit. What well, the new... The name? I don't know. Scary Clown Guy. No, he's got a... I don't know. It's not crusty, but it's something <laughs> as dumb as crusty. Well, I don't know. I didn't like it. I did, so I did not watch the second one, the you latest didn't. one. You haven't watched the one at the theater? No. Let me take you in 2018. You can sit in the middle seat. I think it's already on On Demand. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> but I just think it's weird that none of those are real movies. I mean, Wonder Woman had been Beauty and the Beast is animation and Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy. Thor. Logan is some guy from X-Men. But people I mean, they're go. All, oh, there's no doubt yeah. they're popular. Um, We've got it, we always go to a Christmas movie, so um, on Christmas yeah. Day night. Love and that. so we're trying to figure out which one to go to. So you know what it is this year? What? Star Wars. That's the big... I I'm just saying. Doubt it. Like I my think, uncle drug us to the Lord of the Rings, so three and a half hour went, not going to happen. So I'm thinking maybe Bad Mom's Christmas. <laughs> There you go. Be At funny. least it's humans. And it, it's real people, yeah, right? Yeah, it's real, not a real movie, but it's real yes. people. Yes. Because there's a commentary that I think we want to escape. We want a hero to save us from this 2017. And I don't think it's Krusty the Clown that's going to do it. Okay, you want some, uh, now that we've lifted you up on this show, you, yeah. want, you want some sad names? Okay. Jim Neighbors, Gilbert uh, Powell. Yeah. Fats Domino, Tom Petty. Yeah. A big one. Hugh Hefner. The Jerry list is Lewis, long. G- Glenn Campbell. Adam mm-hmm. West, who was Batman. David Cassidy. David Cassidy. Roger Moore, James Bond. Chris Cornell, the singer. Mary Tyler Moore. Of course, we're talking about all the uh, famous people who have departed sad. in 2017. Don Rickles. Bill Paxton. Chuck Berry. Even Judge Wapner from People's Court oh. all passed away in 2017. That's sad. So I guess what I'm trying to say is 2018, hurry the heck up. Yep. Yep. So 2018, uh, we're going to need some advice, and that will lead us to this week's wisecrack of the week.
Okay, wise crack me. Some people call it a tip of the week, but you're, you know, you tend to crack bones, and you're very, very wise. Oh, thank you. So what do we do in 2018? How do we make, get at least what we can control? We can't control any of that stuff we've been talking right. about. Let's just get ourselves personally in a little bubble <laughs> off to a good start in 2018. What do you recommend? Well, most people always try to, you know, their news resolution is to get in better shape, to, you know, eat better, move more, do that. So I'm saying, like, let's just get everybody on an exercise. Exercise in, has endorphins. Endorphins make people happy. Yes. Happy people don't do mean things. And so maybe that'll... And you can't exercise like Wonder Woman, but, you know, no, you can work on it. I was going to say, from my personal experience, set realistic goals. Oh, absolutely. People, in 2018, and not I'm going to drop 60 pounds. <clears throat> no. And then you want immediate, because we live in a fast food world where you can drive through and get food and on-demand TV and everything, and microwaving. I mean, everything's absolutely. done like, I want it now. I want it, actually, I wanted it back then when I started snapping. <laughs> but when you say, I want to lose 60 pounds in the first three days, you just are sore. You're like, forget it. I yeah. want it. And we want shortcuts. So set realistic goals. Realistic but, goals. But you got to get off the couch. Right. And a few of them, instead of doing 10, how about just three? Three yeah. realistic goals for the first quarter. But, you know, right. and, and I use a trainer, um, James Esterling, which I, he's wonderful. Sam Will, right, has trained me for the last nine years. Like, like, I like having that. I like if I don't show up, they're gonna they fire me. It held me accountable, and yeah. I like that. So sometimes to that. get get the help, and then there's so many classes. You know, Dallas has now the class pass around. So there are so many. Like there's Pilates bar. There's yeah. um, all the different. Um, spin classes that you can go in and with a class pass you can go into wherever there's openings so you don't have to just designate one studio right. but you can go all over I love the Camp Gladiator I think that's a great one it, yeah. and they do outside which I like that yep. as well I like that a little too. chilly right now but still good so I guess what we're saying is do do something, something. And, and just walk go back and we'll allow you to binge what you can sit on your couch for a couple hours and watch all eight episodes of Dr. Mary's chiropractical if you do and you take notes and you want a better 2018 we've given you uh the way to exercise where to exercise what footwear to yes. have an exercise uh what foods to eat uh where to go to get a nice adjustment maybe to get yes. things started if you're injured uh where to go uh, and even when you're tired from all the exercise, what kind of mattress and pillow do you use to sleep on? We've covered everything. We've covered it all. Where will we go in 2018? Yay. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Tune in to find out. All right, follow Dr. Mary on all of her social media, her empire of networks. The YouTube channel is Dr. Mary Collings. Uh, the Facebook, Highland Park Spine and Sports Medicine. The Twitter and the Instagram, at Dr. Mary Collings. The website, drmarycollings.com. Uh, the appointment phone numbers, if you want to go to the Las Colinas office, 972-256-7114, and the Highland Park office is 214-252-0000. In 2018, we'll also be talking about, hey, come see us up at the Star in Frisco. Details forthcoming. I can't wait for the, can I have the big scissors to do the ribbon cutting? <laughs> of course you can. That's what I'm looking I'm, for. You will be the special guest. I cannot wait. And the email, Mary at Collings. Happy 2018. Uh, thanks for watching and listening to Dr. Mary's Chiropractical throughout the year. I'm Richie Witt. She is Dr. Mary Collings, and she, of course, is the most caring chiropractor in Dallas-Fort Worth because... I have your back. You're dang right, you do. Happy yeah. New Year.